determine f prime of x from first principle if it is given that f of x is equals to 3x squared so f prime of x is equals to the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x everything divided by h using first principles so it's quite easy it's quite straightforward here we just substitute in x plus h in place of x and here we're just minusing with f of x nothing complicated and we are dividing by h so let's work out the numerator first in the numerator we have f of x plus h so let's see what happens when we do that f of x is 3x squared so we're gonna have 3x plus h everything squared so this is 3x squared plus 2xh plus h squared right and this will give us 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared that is f of x plus h so what about f of x plus h minus f of x let's go ahead and do that so that will give us 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 3x squared so minus well not minus but 3x squared minus 3x squared will give us zero we're going to be left with 6 6xh plus 3h squared we can then substitute these back into the equation we're going to get f prime of x as the limit tends to z as h tends to zero being 6xh plus 3h squared we have solved that right f of x plus h minus f of x everything divided by h what we want to do at this point is to take h as a common factor on the numerator of which when we do that we get h and then 6x plus 3h everything divided by h let's let h and h cancels out and let h tends to zero so what is 3 multiplied by zero well this is equals to zero so f prime of x is equals to 6x there we go this is the same answer we would get if we are using the power rule we would get 6x 3 multiplied by 2 and then you subtract 1 from 2 so we are quite confident what we did is correct that is 7.1 7.2.1 then mind f prime of x if f of x is equal to this entire thing okay maybe there's a fancy way of solving this problem right but it is not immediately obvious to me so how am i going to do the problem i'm just going to do it the hard way if that's even if this is a simpler way but let's go ahead and do it f of x is equals to x minus 1 multiplied by x to the power 6 plus x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 plus x to the power 2 plus x plus 1 i honestly feel like there is something that i'm missing here there's a trick that i cannot immediately see well okay <laughs> no i just realized something okay when we multiply out everything by x right we're gonna get x to the power 7 x to the power 6 and then here we're gonna get x squared and here we're gonna get x and then when we come around and then subtract multiply everything by minus 1 then x to the power 6 will get subtracted by x to the power 6 so on and so let me show you what i'm saying okay when we multiply out by x we get x to the power 7 plus x to the power 6 plus x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 plus x to the power 2 plus x we're multiplying out by x when we have the same base we add the exponents 
minus now we are multiplying out by when we multiply out by minus one we are gonna get minus x to the power six minus x to the power five minus x to the power four minus x to the power three minus x to the power two minus x minus one so we get everything but now we it is just seen minus so take a look at this x to the power five minus what am i doing x to the power six minus x to the power six x to the power five in that way take a look at that and then ultimately we end up we end up with x to the power seven minus one of which when we derivate we're going to get so this is f of well not f prime because we have not yet derivated there or attempting to this is f of x this is f of x and then here we now have f prime of x because now i actually want to derivate of which when i do that i'm gonna get seven x to the power six minus zero so we can just drop that okay there we go two that is seven point two point one seven point two point two we're looking for dx of x to the 3 plus 2x squared plus x divided by x plus 1. In these cases, something in the numerator is supposed to cancel out with something in the denominator. Okay, so what approach can we take? We still keep this dx because we are not yet derivating, right? We just re uh, rewriting the equation, really. So let's take a common factor of x on the numerator. We're going to get x, x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, okay, you can already see what is happening here. You can already see what is happening. And then dx, um, we have the common factor of x, and now we factorize x squared plus 2x plus 1, of which we're going to get x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. Everything, here we have x plus 1. Everything divided by x plus 1. Okay, so obviously x plus 1 will cancel out with one of the x plus 1s. There we go. So dx is equals to, not equals to, what are we saying? So dx we in the numerator we have x multiplied by x plus one that's just what we have and then when we multiply out obviously we're gonna get x squared plus x now we can go ahead and derivate this is equals to 2x plus one we're just using the power rule yeah we go right most of the time i've never came across a situation like this where the numerator and the denominator don't cancel out to some extent okay so i already expected that to happen before i could even attempt the problem 7.2.3 y is equals to 3 up with x minus 1 over 3x so we want to rewrite this in the following way y is equals to x to the 1 over 3 minus 1 divided by 3x okay let's take that x from the numerator to the denominator y will be equals to x to the 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 x to the minus 1 so when it was below when it was on the denominator it was x to the power 1 if we take it up to the numerator we just need to change the sign from x to the power 1 to x to the minus 1 and then now we can then use the power rule of which we're going to get dy dx you see, now we're introducing dy dx because we actually want to do derivative at this point, of which you're going to have 1 over 3x. What is 1 over 3 divided minus 1? I think that is minus 2 over 3, but I don't want to take any chances. Minus 2 over 3 either way. And then plus 1 over 3, right? When, the, when we multiply minus a third by minus 1, and then to the power minus 2. Um... This will be equals to, uh, it's not always nice to leave our powers with a negative sign. So let's leave those positive. How do we do that? We take it to the denominator. So this will be x to the 2 over 3. The sign changes just like when we move up. And then plus 1 over 3x to the 2. There we go. Question 7.